The View Cube is an interface tool that you can use to help you navigate within a 3D view. The View Cube is a persistent, clickable, and draggable interface that you can use to switch between standard and isometric views of your model. By default, the View Cube displays whenever you switch to a 3D view. When the View Cube tool is visible, it initially appears in the upper right corner of the active window, although it can be positioned in one of the other corners. When it initially displays, the view cube is in an inactive state. When inactive, it provides visual feedback about the orientation of the current 3D view. For example, when you press and hold Shift, and the roller wheel on the mouse simultaneously, you can interactively orbit around the model in 3D. As you do this, the view cube changes to match the orientation of the model. You can also tell that the view cube is in an inactive state because it appears slightly transparent, so that it doesn't obscure the view of the model. When you move the cursor over the view cube, it becomes brighter. This indicates that the view cube is now in its active state. The cursor also changes to an arrow with a small cube to indicate that the cursor is over the view cube. When active, you can use the view cube to reorient the model. There are 26 defined areas that you can click to reorient the model, including six that correspond to standard orthographic views of the model. When you click a corner of the view cube, the model reorients to a three-quarter view based on three sides of the model. When you click an edge, the model reorients to a half view based on two sides of the model. When you click a face of the cube, the model reorients to an orthogonal view. For example, when you click the front face, the model changes to a south elevation. Be aware that when in an orthogonal view such as this, triangles appear near each edge of the view cube. You can switch to a different orthogonal view by clicking one of these triangles. For example, when you click the triangle near the top of the cube, the model changes to a plan view. When the view is oriented to one of the orthogonal views, there are also two roll arrows displayed near the view cube. You can click these arrows to rotate the current view 90 degrees clockwise or counterclockwise. When the view is oriented so that you can see multiple sides of the view cube, you can simply click and drag the view cube to interactively reorient the model. You can also click and drag the compass to rotate the view cube. Also, when the view cube is active, a small house icon appears. When you click that house icon, the view cube returns to its home view. In a new project started from a Revit project template, the default home view is a southeast three-quarter view, but you can set any view as the home view. To do so, after reorienting the view, right-click the view cube and choose Set Current View as Home from the shortcut menu. This shortcut menu is the view cube context menu. You can also access this menu by clicking the small arrow to the lower right of the view cube. The context menu includes a number of other tools that you can use. For example, in addition to setting a different view as the home view, you can also select a different elevation and make it the front view. To do this, expand the Set Front to View flyout and choose the desired orthogonal view as the new front view. To set the front view back to the south elevation, 
Choose Reset Front. You can also use controls in the context menu to reorient the model to a view, direction, or plane. For example, to reorient the model to a specific view, expand the Orient to View flyout, select the appropriate view type, and then choose the desired view from the respective flyout. You can also use the Save View option to quickly save the current orientation as a new named view. When you choose Options, Revit displays the View Cube options in the Options dialog. Here, you can control various View Cube settings, such as its position, size, and opacity. If you make changes in the appearance or behavior of the View Cube, you can restore it to its default settings by clicking Restore Defaults. If you don't want the View Cube to display, you can turn it off. To do so, switch to the View Ribbon, expand the User Interface button, and clear View Cube. When turned off, a View Cube button will display in the navigation bar. You can quickly turn the View Cube back on again by clicking this button.